Oh hi, this is Jessica Lyon from Phoenix Viewer. This video is to show you about our new Parcel Winlight preset settings that we have. What this does is this allows you, if you own a parcel, it allows you to set Winlight settings to your parcel and visitors that are on the Phoenix Viewer will see those presets when they enter. And let me just give you an example here. I'll cam out a little bit. And here you'll see there's a parcel behind me. And the parcel I'm in right now, there is no preset, so you're seeing the default region. So I'm just going to take a step backwards and show you how it works. After a five second delay, the user will get prompted up here. There it is. And it asks the user or the visitor if they'd like to see your wind light settings. I'm going to click allow. And now I see the wind light settings that are set for this parcel. You'll also notice up here that I have a little sun cloud kind of an icon. And if a visitor or you decide that you don't want to use or see this wind light preset, you simply click it. Reset wind light settings for Luna. Uh, region to default, yes. And you're, there, you're back to the region default again. Now, this parcel doesn't have a wind light preset set, so I'm going to show you how to set them. So you want to click on about land up here, or you can do about land here. And in here is the parcel description. Now I have already a little one presetted here. Now what you see is basically front slash, and don't worry if you can't read this because I'll, I'll give you some documentation at the end of this video. So what it is is sky preset and water preset. When the preset is what you want to replace. So how do you find out about that? Well you can either go to world, region settings, and environment editor, or we've made some changes down here in the bottom right of the screen, and in here you have sky settings and water settings. So I'm just going to click here and find something that I like. Let's see, Cal WL. That's not a very big change. Let me find something a little bit bigger of a change here. Let's do uh, AM radio avatar opt. Okay, let's try that. So that's what it is. So what I want to do is I want to set this parcel sky setting to avatar opt. And now if I want to choose a water setting, I can go in here and let's choose Valdez. So now I want to replace this with Valdez. And it's already detected that I've made changes here. So I'm going to click close and now I've set wind light parcel settings for this parcel and it's going to ask me if I'd like to allow it and I'll allow it and there we go I'm using this parcel's wind light. If I go back to here now it'll switch back to this parcel's wind light settings and if I come back here we go back to the new parcel settings set on this parcel. Another option that we've given our users, let me just go back to region default here, is altitude based or zoning. Um, and what this allows you to do is create wind light settings in the sky based on altitude in your parcel. So let me put in something that I've already got copy pasted here. So this is basically a sky at and then lower, which is lower altitude, so I'll say 100 meters to upper altitude, and I'll say um, 150 meters, and let's choose a preset. So I kind of like, let's try dusty, so I'll put in dusty here, and that's it. Click OK. Now, right now I'm at 28 meters, but if I fly up, where's my avatar here? to allow and then I'm going to fly up to 100 meters. There I'm 108 and wow that setting kicked in right away. Look at that. Very creepy. And if I fly beyond that to 151 meters it goes back to region default. So now you have a wind light preset set within this altitude setting. Very cool. And the last thing I'd like to talk about is another feature which we have in the viewer, which is called Windlight Note Cards. And what Windlight Note Cards are is it basically lets you make a custom Windlight setting and then share that with your friend. You can save it as a note card in your inventory and your friend double click, send it to your friend and your friend double clicks it and they will see the same Windlight setting. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to click on World, Environment Settings, Environment Editor. And first I'm going to make a sky setting. So I'm going to click New and I'll call it Test 1. And I'll click OK. I just want to make sure that we're on this one here. And I'll make some changes to the sky, maybe some colors here. There we go, very cool. Right click, Save to Inventory, and there you see Test1.wl. Now I've made 
already a couple different ones. So you can also do water. I'll do advanced water and I'll create a new one and I'll call this test 3. I'll just make sure that I'm selected on this. There we go. And I can make some differences in the water, although you don't see any water right now. I can show you in a minute. Right click save to inventory. Oh, I've already got a preset there. There we go. Now I'll just close these and I'll show you how this works. Test 1, test 2, test 1, test 2. And then I can go to the water settings. Let me go back to test 1 and do new water and test 3. And you can see how it changes the water colors individually from the sky settings. Literally just a double click. Now I did say that we would have some documentation and we do and I'm just going to scroll over here and show you this documentation and while you're writing this down I'll just tell you that when you're using parcel wind light settings it's very important that you use parcel wind light set or parcel presets that come shipped with Phoenix Viewer. If you create your own custom uh, parcel or your own custom wind light setting and try to use that other users don't have that on their computer and therefore they won't be able to see it. Um, so it's important to use the presets that come with uh, the viewer and you can see here is a link of all the wind light presets that come with the viewer and all the water presets that come with the viewer. And that's it for this video and I hope that helps to resolve any questions that you might have.